this garden is done. It's time for the kitchen chickens to get to work cleaning it up for us. Good morning. Thank you for your patience. Enjoy. Welcome to the vlog, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your precious eyeballs and your precious earbuds. I appreciate it very much. In this vlog, we're gonna tackle the problem of getting animals to root up, till up, even the toughest of weeds. You see, I have a problem. Last time we moved them out of here. We moved them out, you see that hay mulch there? We moved them out and there was a lot of work behind them. It was a pain to clear some of the bigger stuff, some of the stuff that maybe looks like this. They don't quite get. Now's a good time as any to tell you, I've been going about eight minutes, it feels like about 80. Thankfully, one of you guys came along as a guide and said, hey, you know what, we use pigs to root up forests, to root up roots in forests by digging a hole and throwing in whole corn. So I thought that would be a great idea to try to do with some of our more stubborn weeds. So let's try it, and we tried it over the weekend, Friday and Saturday, today, Sunday, and I'm gonna show you that in just a few. But listen, we've gotta get these, no matter what, we've gotta get these pigs moved. I wanna stay on it every two week cycle. So the question is, how much work did they leave for me? We're gonna get that in a few minutes. Let's get them moved. I have two options here. I can just move this entire fence over to my next garden area. The pigs will go all over the place. Jonah, the pigs are in the barn. We'll move stuff over, we'll lure the pigs back in with food. It works okay. I would probably do that actually. If I didn't have guineas, Every morning, that's their stinking routine. Come into this garden bed and just get all the exposed, you need exposed seeds. So here's what let's do. Let's find some of my other electric poultry nets. They might not be 164 feet long, but I know I've at least got two. So these are our two nets. We can put those together, put it in the new area, and then open up both of our fences, get the pigs and chickens over, shut them in and leave the old net in place to protect the new garden area from the guineas. There's our fence mark, guys. Let's do it. Well, Put them up. The guys, we gotta get our guinea coop out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy dog. You wanna go up there if you could. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, you just hit me in the head with that stick. All right, can you? Maybe somebody else holding on to that stick. Mm. So is it harder this way with chiddlers? Yes, but they're having fun and it's a better workout. Okay, look Jonah. The pigs have drank from the water. They're drinking out of every pour of water right now. Look at that. How precious. It works wonderfully. It works wonderfully. Now we've seen the pigs and chickens drink out of it. Okay, let's put this fence up. You ran out of fence yet? Okay, see we ran out of fence. This is about making do with what you have. All right, we got our new fence up. We're about to move the pigs and chickens in there, but about the pigs tilling. I did my first experiment on Friday. Jonah, you have the food for the pigs and chickens? No, you oh. thought you could have done that. Okay. I can eat it. Okay, can you pull this hose out? Yeah. I think, hey, you got some feed, Jonah? 
You got feed for pigs and chickens? Okay, bring it over here. Let's open it up. Papa, can I help you move with chickens? Y yes, of course. Yeah. Here, just give them a little bit. Give them a little bit. Jonah, wait, how are you gonna get, just bring some feed to get, just lure the pigs. That's just not work that great. They walked right out through here, despite. Let them get a taste. Now do it. Now they're running. Okay, now let's get the chickens over. Let them out. Grab the pig shelter real quick. Look at what you got. Two yeah. eggs? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Now I can eat eggs. Yep. We got this closed off. This is their old paddock. It's going to keep the guineas out of there. Papa, now let's shut there. Um, can you pull them in? No, no, no. I cannot. Oh. Go put them over by that bucket. That bucket? Yeah. What have a cracked egg in my apron? Oh, man. It's starting to rain. Let's seek shelter for a second we got that fence up so you're probably wondering what was the result of our Friday experiment well here's what happened Saturday day two of encouraging these pigs to till better till the tougher stuff I want you to know something do you see these little balls look boom it's like somebody set a firecracker in there and exploded it that's where I put the corn it absolutely works and that's uprooted. Look at that. Totally easy to get out now. Are you kidding me, guys? Are you kidding me? Look. Well, that one. It's going to be easier. I don't know if I can pick it up with my hand, but it's going to be a lot easier than it was. I'm going to try a different tactic. Tactic, see if it's even more effective. Potato fork and whole corn. What I used yesterday was some of their feed, which is more fine. I was worried they wouldn't go after it, but... They did, so I don't know how much that matters. I gotta dig my holes and then come put in some corn. We dug under that and didn't quite get it. Let's get three or four going and then they'll leave me alone. See how I've pried this up and there's some holes going down in there? He's digging, guys. You can see it right now. He's breaking up. Break it up. Okay, time's up. That was actually really enjoyable. One hand on the potato fork, prying, prying a hole, and then dropping the corn down in there. You guys are a bit lazy, so you're getting the stuff on top, but I trust you'll start digging by this afternoon. Now, it's Sunday. I want to see what they've done. I haven't even looked at it closely. Let's do that in a second. I need to go. We wonder if we can set up a time lapse off this window. I need to secure this fence, set up my waterer. I'll put a time lapse from in here on that so you guys can watch. And then we'll go check out and see what the pigs did or didn't do. We did it. It went so smooth. Look how happy they are. Now, did they till for me? Oh my gosh, did they till for Did they till for me? Oh my word. That's a clump. This is a clump. This is a clump. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Holy smokes, the pigs did that. The pigs did that, oh my gosh. These roots, oh boy, they didn't get that. Look, look, I did not do this guys, I promise, look. These roots, most of these roots are completely turned upside down. Hey guys, you're taking away my gem. 
You're taking away my jam, guys. I don't have as big of a workout now. We're gonna end it here. We're gonna have to let this dry out before we work it. Don't you think, Jonah? So, we did it. I would say we're successful. Now, guys, I've at, do you wanna do this yourself? Do you wanna do it yourself? I don't know why not. Somebody did say in a recent video about this system, said, I never believe it, they said, you could make light work of that in a couple of hours with a tiller. You know, it's, it's gonna take us still, even going in there and, and clearing, it's gonna take us a while, even with what the pigs did. But listen, here's the thing. Sure, it would make light work with a tiller if the tiller is like a nice one, like a $2,000 tiller, one. And two, tillers do not poop. Those pigs and chickens manure, therefore fertilizing the garden area. We need to have somewhere for the pigs and chickens, so why not put them to work? Also, those guys taste much better than a tiller. Bacon and eggs, mmm, you cannot beat bacon and eggs. Now, you wanna do this system yourself, I've got good news. I've wrote a document, step by step, how to do it. I've listed out all the tools and supplies you need with links. Get that, go and get that. All you gotta do is, I'll give you a link down in the description. You go, you watch this video that we put up on the benefits and the, and the idea of the system a couple of weeks ago. Go watch that video and down below that video, you can share that video. And when you share it, you can share it on Twitter, email, or Facebook. When you share that, I give you that document totally free. I don't need your email, nothing like that. Just share the love. And when you share that, it shares that original video I did a couple of weeks ago and others find out about this system. It's a wonderful thing. And other people are finding out about it that don't even homestead. And they're learning about this and they're intrigued by this. And we're growing this movement. So you can help in that. Just by going and sharing the love.